Here we have a disassembled Sankey K. I'm going to mark out where we need to cut this keg to turn it into a 15 gallon brewing kettle. Now if you look closely on this keg, we have the top part which has the handles. It's welded on to the keg right here on this seam. Now if you cut, cut right here all the way around, you're going to cut the whole top part off. We're not going to cut the whole distance because we want to leave the handles on. Make it easier to lift and easier to pour from the brewing kettle. Now you see a handle coming up here. We're going to cut up to there and then we're going to make our cut go up like this. And it's going to come down on the other side. Here's the other handle. Once again, we're going to go up right around there, give ourselves a nice big handle so we can handle this thing when it's full of wart. All right, now we can see the lid, this part, if you look at the top, it's still going to be connected in these two areas where the handles are, okay? We've cut off the rest of it, but we're also going to have to make cuts in here. This part is going to be cut on the other side like that. It'll come down like this, right? And then we're going to need to come out a little bit here like that, all right? That's going to cut this off when we get both sides. Now we're going to show you two ways to cut this keg into a brewing kettle. The first way is relatively low tech. The second way is high tech. The first way we're going to use a simple angle grinder, kind of tool you can get for $20 to do this operation in your backyard. The second tool, if you have a metal shop or maybe you know somebody who has a metal shop, is a plasma cutter, which does the job much more quickly. Low tech. And high tech. Always wear the proper safety gear when handling metalworking tools, especially angle grinders. This is the first half of the cut. We're going to do it this angle grinder here. plasma cutter.
success. This tutorial has been brought to you by kegerators.com. Cheers.